I cannot believe we are here back in the closet. What? Mind blown. You are not an OG. This is where it all started. Not exactly this closet, but the closet. I, um, actually I, I lied. It started in my parents' house in my bedroom. And then when I moved out on my own, I used to film my videos from our master closet. And there's been a lot of filming locations since then. <laughs> But um, we're back in the closet and I kind of like it. I have a window in here. I'm all about natural light. I actually think it might be too bright. Maybe that's better. Um, we're gonna go with it. This is like true nostalgia. I have the Stellan Dot. I guess we could call this spring collection. Now you're too dark, hold on. Um, so they they kind of change things up. So now instead of do we like it too bright? I want you to be able to see the pieces. Instead of doing like a major collection, they're doing we'll call them like subtle drops. So two times a month, there's gonna be two times this month, there's gonna be some stuff. And as ambassadors, we get access to it a little bit early. So I have a whole big box here. And we're just going to unbox and I'm going to show you everything like OG style. Um, you'll have to forgive the appearance. I had a chemical peel last week. I'm taking all my jewelry off so I can put all the new stuff on. Um, and I'm at the tail end of my chemical peel, but I'm not really wearing any makeup. I have some mascara on and that is all. Um, but the good news is my skin is looking pretty good. Okay, so this is the collection box station necklace. This is fun because I just throw everything everywhere. And this is why I love being able to show you guys these pieces on camera because like right now, this piece that I'm taking out, I thought was much larger in person and I'm actually relieved that it's not because <laughs> I almost didn't sample this piece because I'm just not a typical like longer layered fan um but the fact that this is delicate with pearls is making me really happy and you're gonna see kind of like a common theme with these pieces in this collection with these stones and the pearls oh my god and there's also if you can see here this really cool mechanism that's actually like a pulley with two little freshwater pearls at the end so you can essentially picture this being on shorten it and make it more of a choke. Not, it's not gonna be a choker. It's gonna be longer than a choker, but you can shorten it. And I also love that you can have these hang down the back. So if you have like a, sh like a backless dress, it'd be really pretty. You also could still have it hang in the front. That's like a whole vibe in and of itself too. I just love that the little detail down to the little pearls is there. And the mix of these stones, these colors of stones that are very neutral and pearls, so good. All right, collector's box pave stone pendant in pink, which weird that they're calling this pink. I've seen a couple people say the same thing. I would definitely not say that this is anywhere near pink or even has any pink undertones in it. It's definitely more of like a champagne. As you can see there, it's a beautiful stone and then it has like the little baguette surrounding it. The chain is really pretty too, really delicate. This will layer really nicely. This one also comes in silver as well, but you know me. This whole collection, there's a lot of silver, but I didn't sample a lot of the silver because I don't wear a lot of silver, but those two pieces together would be so beautiful. I got another Flawless. Um, this one's actually from my mom. This is a brand new face cream from Ever. I got, this is not from the new collection, but hell, I'll show it to you anyway. These are the rose gold little trio stretch bracelets, and I bought these um, just to have and wear, but really just for Valentine's Day, I wanted to stack with my charm bracelets. They sold out of the gold set. I think there's a silver set still, um, but I really love the rose, especially mixed with the little quartz ones there. That's just random sidebar. Collector's box trio. Okay, these bracelets. <laughs> These are going to be a bestseller for sure. I'm confident in that. So there's two of these sets, two different colors. I got both. I'll have to dig out the other ones, but this one is my favorite. So 
they're these beautiful blushy mauve tones that you know I'm obsessed with. There's a gold bar here. There's a stone that's actually wrapped in plastic here to protect it. Let me get that off. Oh, it's like jeruzy. Really pretty. And they have like a natural finish. Like it's not a slick or like a shine. It's more of a natural finish. So you can wear these stacked. Let me find you the other color because you can actually wear all of them together. They will work perfectly. We like the last box I flip over, of course. It always goes that way. There they are. Okay. This, they're calling this set blue green. So we got pink and we got blue green. And I would say that the blue green is definitely more the neutral of the two, but if you are a follower, you know I am kind of obsessed with these blushy mauve tones, especially this last year, and I would definitely consider them to be a neutral. I wear them all the time. But if you're not into like color, I'll say, these are probably a little bit easier. Also, if you wear a lot of silver, these will flow with your arm parties, your bangles, and your stretch bracelets perfectly. Um, just so delicate, so fun. These are like all clear you got your stone here, your little hammered bar here with the little quartz, and then your multicolored that are actually like neutral earth tones. So yes, wear them together, stack them up. Super pretty mixing them. Um, but I have to say that this blush color is probably my favorite one. Okay, what else we got here? Ooh, the Samantha Statements. I probably would have passed on these, I'm not going to lie, because they're just not earrings. They're beautiful, but they're just not earrings I feel like I would wear day-to-day -day mom life. They're definitely more of a, like, intentional earring. But we have a couple vacations planned, one in Mexico and one in Dominican this year. And I just thought that these would be absolute essentials when it comes to packing. So I'll put them in so you can see for scale. Oh yes, they're very light. They're very different than anything else we've ever done before. I love the colors together. This is kind of like an orangey stone and then almost like a jasper with blue. There's some more blue around there, but wow, yes. I feel like for the beach with white, these will be so beautiful, but for any kind of tropical vacation where you can escape the cold that is Pennsylvania right now, these are beautiful, and I'm so glad that I sampled them because, like, like, like I said, I probably wouldn't have day to day, but with those vacations in mind, I'm glad that I did. Okay, this is called the Cluster Pendant. Everything is just like wrapped so carefully. There's some more pearls I'm seeing on the end of this one. I love it because it makes it easier to not be tangled. So this is one of those pieces that has been sneaked a few times. And every time I've shared it on Instagram, I get blown up. Like, is that new? Okay, this is freaking beautiful. So this again has that same little pearl pulley system. It's a delicate chain. You bring this little bar down so you can shorten the chain. But for all of my charm lovers, this is a already made charm necklace for you that you did not even have to put a single bit of thought into. So there's a little quartz here with a stone. There is this like mother of pearl. Hold on, maybe I'm too bright. So I really want you to see. I think that's better. Um, yeah, that's better. This is quartz. This one almost looks like a crystal wrapped with more crystals a little gold nugget charm, and then this is like the bohemian pearl necklace, just one of those. This is super fun, love the pulley, love, love. I'm gonna put this on right now. And I love necklaces like this because you can adjust them while you're wearing them. You don't have to know the length, like know which extender clip you're putting it on before you actually put it on. Okay, I'm just wearing like, I can link this top for you. It's just a little satin pajama blouse. 
um that is so fun and you guys know i'm usually not like these long into these longer layer chains but i'm making some exceptions i'm actually gonna layer this one too these colors all just work so well together especially with a simple top like this like it does not need to be just a solid like bodysuit to showcase these necklaces like kind of love all of the little texture differences collector's box teardrop earrings okay these are beautiful getting back to what I was saying about my love for the like pinks and mauve tones these are kind of like a pinky peach it's like what we used to describe our favorite blushes as right like a pinky peach blush these are beautiful like beautifully designed um it's a little drop the stone is that pinky peach color but look at the design and then they just kind of clip into there so i'll put these in so you could see scale of them actually in my ear they're very delicate wearable everyday love those collector's boxed mixed crystal stud set okay we, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to have to give ourselves a little bit of credit and just like pat ourselves on the back when it comes to studs. I feel like we do them better than anyone. I'm just going to say it. Um, our studs are so beautiful and like creatively thought out, especially when you consider us chicks with more than one hole in our ears. So if you have like two, three piercings, like here you go, ear party all come together look how beautiful this little oh my god that's like a little quartz wire wrapped with gold um, and then you have a silver one with like black hematite and then this one which is not cooperating on this packaging but it's like a little drop down chain so you have like an entire ear party here set up for you love that so much I know I'm like not bright but it's I don't want to blow out these things that I'm showing you so forgive me for being a little bit dark. These are the Mia's. Oh my God. This right here. I'm going to say it. Favorite thing in the line. These are beautiful. And this is another one of those pieces I was so excited is not as large as I was expecting. I saw one of my friends unbox these and I was like, oh yes. Because I thought these were going to be more of like a statement. But they are much more wearable. Perfect for every day. Especially if you're a mom. Working from home or staying home with your kids. Um, they're beautiful and I didn't even tell you the best part is they actually drop to a stud if you, like if you don't have enough studs from Stella Dot and you want one more, these drop off. The little dangle drops off and you have this like champagne -y peach stud. But that is them for scale. Looks so good. Ties in all these other stones on these other necklaces. Love them. Love, love, love them. The colors that they chose for all of these pieces, like when it comes to the stones, is perfection. I'm going to show you, as I'm saying that, some rings. This is the trio, which again, I have to say, I just feel like we do these trios so well. So these all come together, and I'm going to stack them so you can see them on, but you really can wear them mixed and matched on different fingers, on the same finger, in different orders, um, however you want. And they are true to size, but look, I mean, that is like a whole vibe, and then you can pull them apart and wear them on different hands, different fingers, but these stones are so beautiful, but like still very neutral and wearable. Everything flows so well. And then there's one other ring. They're calling this the Patent Rose Ring. And I mean, this is, this is beautiful. This is like a moment. I'd say it's like a step down from a cocktail ring. But it's so light. The color is perfect. Look at the faceting in it. Um, love. That is so pretty. I'm obsessed with these two. What are these? Hammered Huggy Earrings in Silver. This is like the only piece of silver from the large part of the silver collection that I got. 
I just really like the shape of them. I really hope that they come out with these in gold. I love that they're hammered. I feel like the hammered pieces end up just having sparkle to them based on how the light catches them. And I love, I just love earrings in general that are made this way. These like huggies, I actually have a pair from Target, like a gold pair. This little guy just like flips out and then clicks in. And I love them. They're a great size. Let me put them in so you could see them against my noggin. They actually have a little bit of a weight to them. They're not heavy by any means, but they're like solid. Um, I would love these in gold. So, but I, I know there are so many of you that are always like blowing me up with these new collections. Like, can we get more silver, please? You're going to be all over these those of you that love silver and can wear it. I, I can wear it. I just feel like it's not as flattering on me than gold just with my coloring. Okay. What else we got here? The sail away beaded stretch bracelet. Now this one is so fun. Also had vacation in mind, but I would wear these every day. And there was a necklace, like a corresponding necklace that went with this one. I did not get it. I'm probably going to eventually end up getting it. Who am I kidding to take on those vacations, but I got this with the intent to stack. Let me do a quick little bracelet change. Here's the bracelet. Looks so good with this like cream outfit that I have on. These like big chunky stones, like amber colored earth tones. Again, this one looks like, I feel like I have, a, like, I have an old gemstone collection that I passed down to Addie and I feel like this is like half of my gemstone collection on here. Like the tiger's eye, the ones that I used to collect. Look at this one, like this big Baroque pearl. So fun, stretchy. But let me show you what I was thinking. I don't actually know if we still have these. Don't come for me if we don't. I think we do. These like faux wooded beads. And then <clears throat> I had to order more of these because I ended up gifting the set that I had to one of our kids' teachers for Christmas. So I got myself another pair because th these are these are not part of the new collection, but these are like a must-have, I feel like. If you're into bracelets in general, you like to create your own arm parties, mix and match, stack, like these are a must because they can be dressed up and be super elegant with an LBD or you can dress them down. They're just simple, but they're gold, stretchy, and like I'm gonna just show you how well with some like earthy tone beads it can make your arm party like glam you know like it could be super neutral and easy but you can glam it up so these are a must if you don't have our crystal stretch trio get them I will check to see ooh, if we still have the like faux wooden ones because those look so good together okay I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty, I am pretty excited about all of this. Oh my gosh. These are called the Sail Away Mobile Earrings. And for sure know why they got their name. They look like a little mobile. Oh wait, I don't have one in there. Okay. These are super fun. And like I said, kind of go along with this bracelet that I just put on. There's a necklace from the same collection. They are super lightweight. Holy Stunner. These are a great vacay earring. I feel like with just a white cover up, a white bathing suit, they will make sound. Oh my god, they're so pretty. I'm gonna put the other one in. Hold on. Hold, please. These are a really fun design, especially for vacation. Cruise collection, sail away. Right? Even with this outfit, like I just a simple, simple blouse. So pretty. What do we got last here? Essential pearl earrings. Okay, these I am so excited about because I'm gonna, that was the last thing. I'm gonna show you this necklace really quick. I have it here sitting on my desk along with 17 other ones. Um, This guy right here. This was supposed to be retired. People threw temper tantrums and including myself. And I was like, please don't like bring it back. So they brought it back. It came back like months and months later, but I love it so much. It layers great. I can link this one here. 
but here are like the earring version of that. So they literally just took one of these and put it on a little dangle that actually converts to just a simple gold hoop. And if you have our essential hammered little studs, kind of the same idea. So this little guy drops off and you have just a little hoop. You could just do the hoop or you could do the dangle. I'm gonna put them both so you can kind of like just get a feel because if you have our hammered ones that also convert to, um, what am I saying? Not the hammered ones, sorry, the Ulani ones that have like the little Ulani pave dangle. If you have those, you can, it's pretty much the same hoop, but rather than the pave Ulani, you have the little pearl. But if you drop off the pave charm and you just use the little hoop, hold on, because I have a second earring in. I'm gonna just show you like the effect that you get with the ear party. Um, so you get the little dangle and then the little huggy hoop that hugs your third, your second hole. And don't forget about these little studs. So I would probably go in with this one. I love, do you guys remember the Aria pendant? That was like my favorite layered necklace for a long time. I feel like this is like the little stud version of that. Um, so let me just show you. With this one in the second hole, you can drop the pearl. I wanted to show you the other dangle with the chain. So. Here's like a part of that stud pack. Then I do want to put this one in too. So this is just a little, it's like all in one. This is the one of the studs. And then the chain kind of like flips around and then you use the back, secure the back and then you get this little like dangle. These are so pretty. Like such a simple, great giftable too. And I love that they added the third one and made it silver because it just makes it easy for you to mix your metals. Despite doing this for nine years and trying to inspire so many of you to like step outside the box, mix your metals. Um, there's still so many of you that are like, I don't know, how do I mix metals? I, that's why I appreciate these stud packs so much because they do it for you. You don't have to think about it. So this is that entire stud pack, um, the three of them. And then this is just the little quartz with the dangle. These are a great like everyday hoop. I love, love this necklace. So I'm so excited to see it in an earring form now. And that is everything. From our first drop of January, there will be another drop in two weeks. And I will show you all of that stuff when I get it too. But if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I haven't done a mystery hostess show in a while, have I? I don't think so. So I can open one of those up. I'll put a link to it in the description box. If you have questions about anything, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this back in my closet. I think for 2022, I want to get into YouTube again. I don't want to like go full in and, com and say I'm going to commit to something because I just have a very full plate, but I really miss it. I miss like the sit down chatty videos. Um, so, and I get that question all the time on Instagram. Anytime I have those like question boxes, I always get asked like, are you ever gonna come back to YouTube? And I would love to, I just haven't because it's so time consuming. It's a lot harder to sit down and edit these videos than it is to just edit like story slides on the go. I'm always on my phone and here I just need to be on the computer. Um, but I really want to make that a goal this year to just spend a little bit of more, more of my time doing YouTube, even if it's just one video a week, just to give you guys something, but they have to be, I've thought about this. They have to be videos like as much as I would love to do vlogs. And those are probably my most requested videos. Like I have to be realistic and I'm not able to edit in real time as much as I would love to. So maybe like favorites videos or Maybe we just like chat about TV, whatever shows we're watching, or I could just have you guys ask me questions, but I love this community and I love the casual feel that this community has. And I just always feel like I'm talking to my girlfriends like over lunch. So I kind of want to stick with that whole idea and vibe for my YouTube. I love chatting jewelry. I love fashion, all of that. So if you guys have specific requests, let me know. I know a handbag collection is something I get asked about a lot 
and I am not opposed to showing it to you. I do have one, um, but it's a little bit outdated, but I'm in the process right now of like selling off some of my older bags and like slowly replacing them. So I will do one. I just want to get my collection like where I get it. And I'm not just showing you like bags that I don't even use or really like anymore. So leave any requests that you have below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm super, my face is like super white and bright and then it's dark behind me, but um, it's fun being back in the closet. I'm feeling very inspired. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for coming back into my closet and unboxing all the Stella and Dot new goodies. If you have questions, let me know. I'll put links to everything directly in the description box. And thank you as always for being here and I will see you in my next video, hopefully sooner rather than later. Bye.